Hello, I'm Sarah. I had a stroke when I was 18 um, and it was my stroke anniversary yesterday. Um, I had my stroke and numbers is difficult so I'm gonna say so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14 years ago and I, hopefully that's correct. Um, I'm on my own today so I can't have a person checking it. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see. Um, so my parents, normally sometimes my mum helps me out, um, they are actually in Australia seeing my sister, um, so good for them. <laughs> I wish that I were there too as well but I'm working and I didn't have the time off so um, hopefully um, they're having a nice time. Um, also that my partner Stuart is away as well um, at the weekend so I'm on my own today. Um, so because I had my stroke anniversary yesterday um, I also didn't do it last year which was naughty of me. Um, I did actually say that I was going to do it which is also like bad as well. Um, I had some family problems um, and it just didn't work out, um, so sorry about that. Um, but I'm here today um, just to let you know that we're all right and kind of if there's anything that we have done for, I guess, two years, I guess. Um, one of the things which is really exciting for me is I've got two cats but it's a nice day and they're actually out so I couldn't show you them but maybe I'll if I can do a picture or show you um they are not kittens um they had a family but the partner was pregnant and the cats were inside um and maybe people know but if you're pregnant and obviously they're not going to the toilet outside um, you're not supposed to um, change their litter box if you're pregnant so I don't know if that was the reason um, but I'm happy that we have them now because they are so cute um, their names are Lola and Tilly um, Tilly is the younger one and the other one is the mum so they're really cute um yeah I, I love or well, any animal but um I, I love cats so much and we used to have two cats that when I was living with my parents with my sister and we loved them um so I'm really happy that we've got them now um so that's my kind of top thing <laughs> that I'm happy about. Um, obviously I'm working full time still, still the same job that I'm doing. Um, I had a promotion um, which was obviously really nice and um, to hear that people <laughs> I'm good at my job. <laughs> so um, my job is the same really, I'm more if people are new um, I train them um, and maybe more paperwork which is difficult when you have aphasia um i've got my um apps with my phone and my computer so that helps me a lot so if i have emails or if i need to write a lot or to read something um that really helps um but um everything is good at work which is good um, obviously when COVID hit I was um, working almost all the time at home which is not uh, like a, a normal thing um, normally it's always in the office now it's depending on what we're doing we'll be in the office and when there's nothing else that we need to do like practical wise or when we're doing maybe meetings or, or something like that then um, the rest of the time we can go 
back to our house and work there. So it's nice to have kind of both sides. Um, I don't know if it's going to be forever, but but the meantime, that's what I'm doing. So um, it it is good, very happy. Um, what else? So um, I'm engaged. If you if you know me, um, so we had difficulty with booking anything because first of all, you need to find a place that we liked. We we did find a place that we really liked. Um, but, and that would be um, just, we're not going to a church or anything. We're just going to have one place for everything. Um, it's more simple and obviously, well, I'm not really that religious. Um, so it didn't really be right to do it um, in a church. Um, so we found a place, we really liked it, but then because of COVID, um, one of my worst things is if my sister couldn't come because they didn't have flights. Um, so waiting, waiting. And so I kind of realized that but the best thing is to maybe wait until next year. So, which is a long way because we have been engaged for, it was just before, COVID and it was a Christmas. Do you? Something like that. Anyway, can't remember. It feels a long time. Um so we've booked the venue, so that's good. Um happy that that's something um to think about because if you don't have the date you can't really book anything else um because they always say what's the date we're like I don't know um <laughs> so yeah um so then we have kind of researched a lot um I have done the makeup and hair the cake um we need to do um we would like to have a band so we have kind of we didn't We've not actually booked anything, but we've got um, a few ones that we really liked. So I think maybe a weekend that we are free and there's nothing to do. I think we need to book that and the photographer, which again is kind of important to do. Um, I already bought the bridesmaids um, dresses like years ago, <laughs> I think almost like, a year ago or two which was like I think a bit crazy um yeah but anyway and obviously I've got my dress um so that's good as well um I think the rest of the things is we can do that near the time or do things you know in between um I don't want to be stressed out. Um, that was my issue. And obviously we didn't have the date before, so it was a really like a lot of like my family and friends are always like, How's the wedding going? And I'm like, Oh, there's nothing to say. <laughs> but um yeah, never mind. Um so everything hopefully works out good. Um because it, it's stressful. I didn't realise, like, first of all, that it's so expensive. And second of all, like, there's so much to do. Um, um, oh, I've also done the um, flowers as well. That was good. Oh, flowers is expensive. You don't realise and you think, yeah. And then to find a place that I don't... I don't know anything about actually the funny thing is my mum um was having a course to do with flowers um arrangement um when I had my stroke and she couldn't finish it because well because of me so I feel really bad um so um I think she wanted to really help me to do it but I said I don't want her to be stressed so I would rather have a person doing it and she'll be more relaxed and have a nice time um so yeah um what else there's not a lot of um 
interesting things that I've been doing because of COVID and stuff like that. Now it's it's never going to be normal again, but um, I in the UK now you don't have masks really at all. Um, you can see people anytime. Um, I guess doing flights, obviously you need to have masks, and obviously I think if you have like um, buses or trains, I think you need to have a mask or or something like that. Um, obviously I drive so I don't really know um, what else, but it feels like more normal, which is good. You can, you know, see your friends and family again, which obviously when, when everything was like locked down, obviously I didn't see my parents for a long time and uh, obviously my friends as well. So it was difficult. Um, uh, my best friend had a baby. That was exciting. Um, and I've seen the baby and her um, recently. So that was really nice. Um, she's my bridesmaid. Um, and what else? There's not, oh, I can't think of anything else. Um, but I think everything is good. You know, the funny thing is, um, my mum, obviously, I, I said that she's in Australia and she messaged me just before my um, stroke anniversary um, and, and just kind of said, like, just remember, like, I know it's going to be the stroke anniversary. Like, it's not like I'm not thinking about it. And I was like, well, the funny thing is I've forgotten. <laughs> I said, this is the first time I've not think about my stroke um which is a good thing I think because they're saying that you know in my life now having my stroke is not the top and not saying I don't know I think it's a bad thing to always think about the bad things and having a stroke is um and having aphasia now is um it's not like I've forgotten because my life has changed obviously and everything is more difficult um just going out um thinking about if people are going to talk to me working um you know letters and things like that that I can't read um even like you know driving to a place that you don't know I always think about what would it be but like the worst thing that could happen um just in case um which i did i think if i didn't have my stroke i would not think about that i would just go and you know um but to feel like i'm not always thinking about my stroke and just thinking about my life what i've got you know i've got a house with a lovely partner um, Stuart is amazing um, and I've got you know friends um, that really are amazing too I've got a lovely like family I've got I've got two lovely cats now um, I can drive now and that's after my strokes I I've got a full life even though I had something terrible when I was so young um but to feel like you know that hopefully that would be the worst in my life and I've done that I'm s still surviving I'm still here um so yeah I feel very happy which is obviously good um there's nothing really else that i can think to say um but i just wanted to say that thank you for watching this video i think we've been doing this for all of this time um you know and i i had this video the first video um that hopefully you, you watched um to see what i was like and we did it just because I didn't realise my, my 
uh, aphasia was a bit better, um, I could say a few words and I was doing speech therapy, but every time I did it, it was better and better, but I just didn't see the difference. So we did it just because of that. Um, and also if we had any friends and family that wanted to watch me, um, they could see what I was like. Um, didn't realise that like strangers are <laughs> gonna watch me. Um, didn't think it was that important to watch a person that has aphasia. Um, didn't realise that there was a lot of people that had like what I have. Um, and if that helps one person, hopefully that has aphasia because that I always think, I remember when I had my stroke and having aphasia, you, you feel isolated and feel like you're the only person that has it, which is not the case. There's a lot of people like us and I'm really, really like proud of me because if I'm helping just one person, then that is the world. And um, I have done it for every year now. Well, next, like uh, last year I didn't, but sorry about that. Um, but I will do it hopefully as much as in my life. Like I'll do it if people still want to watch it. However, there's not a lot of things that are really that exciting. Um, but if you want to watch me again and again, I will, um, because um, I want to raise awareness. I can't do as much as I used to because I'm working full time. But um, but thank you so much and um, I'll see you again. Have a nice day and uh, I'll see you next time.